Can we get some slimes in the chat? Oh, you guys are already doing the slimes. Excellent. Look at that babble. Look at that. Dynaman, don't forget you can do slimes too. There we go. Yeah. It's karma for all the Nargakuga we hunted for the best armor in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. One year later. One year has passed since the Nargakuga's attack. Hakum Village is slowly rebuilding back to its former glory. Today is the day of the Rite of Kinship. It's the final step to becoming a writer. But what will you have to do? Oh shit, now I have a new outfit, Tripe. Yeah, look at these little ears on this hat. What are you doing? So today is the day we see a new writer in Hakum Village, huh? I'll destroy you. Why do I look no older? I age nothing. What is this? That's a horrifying whatever that is. Hmm. Uh, that was such a nice nap. I dreamt about becoming a rider. But then I realized I was too fucking lazy to become a rider, so I didn't. Looks nice. Shut up, kid. I heard you're finally going through the rider kinship. I'm sure you'll be fine, but good luck, Miro. <laughs> You're gonna become a rider, Miro? That's so exciting! Who the fuck is- what the fuck is this? What's this hippo thing? Or baboon hippo? Today's the day you fight Mira because they haven't obtained Godhood yet. Nope. You play video games today? Nothing special. Playing video games is always special. Hello. Off to the right of kinship, are you? Well, here's a bit of advice for you then. Jump a monster from behind, and you'll be—you'll get the first attack for free. Give it a go. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Off to the right of kinship. Good luck. I'm sure the writers will help you if you need some, some advice. Ready for the writer kinship? Give it your best, kid. Yeah, I don't know why you want to be a writer. These guys were fucking useless when that thing showed up. They just ran around the village doing absolutely nothing. It's a pain in the ass fight in this game. Have you played this, uh, Silky? Because so far I don't know anybody who's played this. At the stables, you can manage your monsters mon monsters and eggs, but we're closed right now. Come back once me you've been through the right of kinship. I want my Rathalos back. What the fuck? I'll destroy you. Amazing! You're gonna be a rider! That's so mega ultra cool! I'm gonna be a writer too. I'll do that awesome pose and shit right on! No, you won't. It's been a whole year. The village is finally getting back to normal. But what about Blau's son? What was his name? Oh, yeah, Shabal. He still does not quite seem himself. Well, he lost his entire family. Of course, he's not himself. I mean, he's still just a kid, although I did hear he became a writer recently. How did you. There's like eight people in this village. Why is. Are they acting like it's so difficult? Like they've heard nothing about this kid. Yo, sorry, we're closing them on. Come back later. <laughs> hey kid, give me a shout once you're through the right of kinship. I'll get your armor and weapons ready for you. Oh. Ah, Miro! At last, Miro, you finally get to become a rider! Your lifelong dream is becoming uh, coming true. You're gonna do the right of kinship and become a true rider, right? I still don't know what I want to do. I don't really want to become a B.O. writer. There must be something that only I can do. I'm gonna give it a bit more thought. Oh! Cheval! Congratulations, Cheval! With your kinship still on your hand, you look like a real writer now! Miro's about to go to write a kinship night now! What do you what do you do to forge a bond? Won't you tell us? Bonds. I don't believe in them anymore. Cheval, wait! I wanted us to celebrate you guys becoming writers together. We haven't talked much since the incident a year ago. If one of us is missing, it'll feel weird. Come on, it's gotta be all of us together. He's being so cold. Well, Miro, time to go. Arena, hello! Chief Amna is waiting for you in, in the Hall of Rights. Miro, you're gonna be a, a fantastic writer. I'll be with you every step of the way. 
Hello, Silky. So Silky has played this. He just plays it off and on. When you're a rider, you can manage your monsties and exit the stables. When you're a bullfight rider, I'll be able to do so many things. Nice cape. It really suits you. It's got monster fur woven into the fabric. It was made especially for you to help you safely through the Rider Kingship. I don't know if that's true. What the fuck? The Hall of Rates is up the hill here. A ceremony to become a rider. I wonder what you'll have to do. Eat hamburgers. You know, the usual. You got pretty far then burned out? Oh no. I'm sure. I'll, I'll, I'll probably finish it because I'm only going to play it on stream. The Hall of Rates is through the red door. Chief Omna and Dan are waiting. The Yin Kutku by the door. Kutku is by the door. It's tired of waiting for you, too. Well, the Yin Kutku can fuck off, because I don't care. This is the site of Cheval's mom's death. There you go. All of our eyes. Fluffy McFluff, what are your plans for the rest of the night? Ah, here you are. There you come. Miro, you are welcome. Did you just rhyme what come with come? A year on that from that fateful day, upon reflection, let me say, your bonding with that Rathalos proves that you're a monsty boss. As a writer, you have the right stuff to grow and learn to be super tough. But there's a still a lot to do to make a rider out of you. The greatest riders never rest in their flight to be the best, or fight to be the best. You hear that, Silky? You, you did it right. You weren't supposed to rest. <laughs> like me, and I'll be there to help you out whenever you need, you hear? But first, there's something we must do. The right of kinship awaits you. For this, there is something you need to allow your potential to be freed. The writer's symbol and ours alone, the bond forger, the kinship stone. By this stone, your mon your hearts are bound and with your monsty kinship found. Monsty? I thought of that. A monster who is your bestie, get it? I, I want to walk over to Dan and just slap him. Each stone is a special one of a kind. Keep your close to your heart and mind. All right, now, check out over there. These are monster eggs. If you manage to hatch one, it'll be your monster. Now, hold up your kinship stone and an egg will hatch, and a monster will be, be known. No school tomorrow, so you're just gonna play some Child of Light and Smash? Oh, here, uh, uh, Crimson played Child of Light. He really liked it. What kind of duel, uh, Silky? Silky, is this going to be you when you get older? Nope. Oh. Omna sucks! The engine started moving! Well, that's awesome! Oh, ho, ho, that one's lively egg! I'm telling you, true, not pulling your leg! <laughs> Miro, no time to chill your boats. Get after that egg. Destroyed. Oh, is that so fucking? Damn it. Yeah, who are you? What's your name? Tell me or prepare to taste the possum paw pads of power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I guess it's only polite to introduce myself. I am a heroic wandering feline. The mysterious mass seeker of justice. Name her pending. Yo, why are you messing with the ritual? And you're not wearing a mask at all. It wasn't on purpose. Well, you know, there was an egg. Exactly at the moment I was passing by. An egg, you say? And you were hungry? Hungry? Furmished, more like. We're in the middle of a sacred ceremony. Take your growling stomach, stomach elsewhere. Shoot! Shoot! Rude! Rude! Rude, dude! I'm no ally feline. You know, I'm the possum paragon of feline kind. And the seeker of justice wearing a mask? What happened to him, dare I ask? Mira, please do let me know. What to do with this frolicsome fellow? A meal? Well, if that's the case, I'm telling you now, this is the right place. Food? For real? Yeah, you're the best! Right! I've come to a decision. I'm gonna stick around and lend you a helping paw. I've navigated all around the world and I've learned lots of useful things, you know. Since I'm such a knowledgeable navigator, call me Navi. Navi. Navaru. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. We're seriously picking up this stray? That is so not awesome. You were in the middle of a right ritual, you say? Right then, you'll be needing my help. It looks like this feline is here to stay. So let's get the ritual back underway. Arena, how's it going? How's your Tuesday treating you? Kinship stone of the holy ground to the soul of Mira, let thyself be bound. No. Awaken. Ah, oh, it's like my uh, Power Ranger Morpher. But instead of Tyrannosaurus, I show Rathalos! Staples, egg carton. Select hatch egg in the egg carton to view your eggs. Tap an egg to hatch it. Your new monster may receive stat bonuses depending on where you tap it. Select egg fragments to assemble new eggs and hatch new monsters. You can find egg fragments scattered throughout the world or win them in network battles. Sure. Let's hatch, let's hatch an egg! Oh, attack plus one. Defense plus two. HP plus three. Attack plus one. I got a defense-based monster, too. I got a Velocidrome. Right, excellent. Velocidrome was born. Look at that. It's new. Do you want to name your new Velocidrome? Yeah, all right. This one here shall be named Steve. I think that gives me that warning again that I have to give it good names. Name your monster Steve. Yes. There we go. We'll name our future monsters after people in the stream, but the first one gets named Steve. Oh ho ho! This deserves congratulation! And maybe even a standing ovation! You did well to form a kinship bond with this monster of whom you are so fond! What? Now you've a monster stood by your side. Care for it well as is a um, writer's pride. Writers for me kinship with monsters, a tradition older than time. And an old man who speaks only in a rhyme. Now I'm going to too. Possum! <laughs> Not you too. Ugh. In any case, the ceremony isn't over just yet. A kinship stone must be purified before it can reveal its hidden power. 
You have to cleanse the kinship stone in the watery fall at the pond Mount Pondry Caves. If you can't pass the trial, you won't be allowed to complete the ceremony. So, kiddo, will you accept this challenge? <laughs> That's the correct answer! Awesome! Come to the village gate when you've made your preparations. Alright, so, I'm very interested in how combat works in this game, so... Alright, you've obtained a monster, but the right of kinship is far from over. Now you must head to Mount Pondry Caves and immerse the kinship stone given by Chief Omna in the water there. But what will be waiting in the caves? This cat can fuck off, I don't care. Silky, out of all the Monster Hunter games that you've played, which one's your favorite? So this place is your house, huh? Let's take a peep inside. I'd love to see what you've got going on in there. No, never speak to me again. Your house contains several useful features, namely the bed and chest. Take a nap in the bed to fully recover your party's HP and hearts and save the game. Be sure to save often in case you run into trouble later. Available from the chest menu, you can customize your character's hairstyle, color, color, makeup, and armor colors. Gender and voice cannot be changed. Navarro outfits. Available from the chest menu, you can customize Navarro's appearance by dressing him in outfits found during your adventures. Available from the chest menu, you can rewatch any cutscenes you've seen so far. You know, in the two Monster Hunter games you played, your Palico was never helpful. Ah, Bailey was helpful in uh, Monster Hunter World. At least I got a nice big bed that takes up most of my house. Which ones have I played? I played Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Stories, and a little bit of Monster Hunter 3 U, maybe 4 U, I don't know. One of the two. Much better. I hot that silly because I don't have it saved on my 3DS anymore, so. I didn't really like the 3DS Monster Hunters. Not that they're bad, it's just I'm not very good with the. I don't like the small screen for those types of games. Take this before you head out. It's my writer's notes. Now you'll be able to look back over things you've learned. Check it out by pressing X and selecting writer's notes on the menu. Press X and Tanner in the field by opening the camp menu. You'll unlock more of the game menu's functions as you progress through the game. You're gonna to need to know lots of things as a writer, but hey, don't go too crazy. What's important is love and amour. For the love, amour of donuts. Love, amour de, of donuts. They both mean the same thing. <laughs> don't set the small details, Sir Fluffykins. Let's go. You've got an awesome future awaiting you. Only the trials to go. Let's do it! Are you... No, Dan, I don't want to do it. Everything ready, buddy? Then let's head out. Laundry Hills, here we come. Trive, how is your relationship with Bubsy going? You played 3U on Wii U? Well, I got a gigantic sword. I thought this was turn-based. Are we finally going to get to fight some stuff? Check it! There's a helpless Aftonoth just over there. Go get him, Tiger! Let's get this show on the road, buddy. Feel free to ask if you need any directions. Sure. Alright, let's do this. Time to fight. 
It's an innocently grazing Aptanoth. First, select fight. Then select Aptanoth. Alright. There are three different types of attacks you, you hear, kiddo. Power, speed, and technical. Let's try a power attack. A head to head, awesome! A head, head to head, that's what you call it when you attack each other, head on. If you choose the right attack type, you can deal additional damage to your opponent. Now, right. If you manage to read a monster's attacks, you can gain a huge advantage in battle. To see if a head to head will be triggered, take a look when selecting your target. Check out the battle lines. The Aptanoth tends to use power attacks. Do you know what type of attack you need to choose to win, kiddo? Speed attack! My monster did nothing. Not a psychopath at all. Oh shit, Steve got EXP. I got an A rank. I'm the best at that. It's a pretty neat combat system, I agree. Minus the fact that... Is that outside or is that in here? Sorry about the buzzing if you guys can hear that. Possum! Predicting your opponent's moves is the key to victory, for sure. I think that's upstairs. I think they're vacuuming. Whoa, kiddo! Hold up! Did you notice your HP is getting kind of low? That is, this would be a good time to grab an herb from your items in the, in the camp menu. Select items in the camp menu to view items you're currently play carrying. You can use items to cover recover your HP or cure abnormal statuses outside of battle. Alright. It's a rock fight for scissors combat. Yeah. Use an herb to restore your HP and let's head for the top of the hill. Kick. Okay. Is this character just gonna repeat what other characters say all the time? All right, we'll use an herb. Holy shit, that's loud. Okay, give me a sec, guys. Velocipray Veloci next, huh? Breathe in, breathe out. We got this. What's with that? Time to fight. It's a life and sneaky Velocipray. First select fight. Velocipray is fast, so it might use speed. She knows to use, right, kiddo? Steve went in with a power attack. Watch the Blossom play and think carefully. I, I don't know how to tell what it's doing. Technical? Okay. We did it, team. We did it. Reading monsters attacks paves your way to a vi uh, victory, kiddo. Why does it have a wyvern carcass? Hey, Steve leveled up, sweet. Sweet. So your monster, you don't really control your monster. It kind of just does whatever the fuck it wants. You did it, buddy! Next stop, Mount Pondry Caves! No, next stop, fighting everything in the area. 
we kill everything. This is as far as I can take you. You gotta handle the rest on your own. Just get to the room of trials and purify your kinship stone. Easy, right? Oh, one more thing. I'll teach you this awesome skill I know. It's called cheer. Riders can learn all kinds of nifty skills. I don't. I know you're not officially riders yet. But you might want to try using cheer to get to you used to how skills work. Okay, be careful there. I'll see you back at the village, kiddo. This is the last part of the ritual, then you'll be a full-fledged rider. Good luck! I got it. I'm here, so you got nothing to worry about. Go, go, go! Oh my god. Hey buddy, have you got your battle pouch ready? In battle, you can only use items you've got in your battle pouch. A writer's gotta be ready for anything. See the camp menu to get it all sorted. Select battle pouch from the camp menu to choose up to 10 item kind of items used in battle. Items used in battle will refill you in from your inventory provided you have them. Saying that, cat, you did nothing. You got a monster bonus. ATA unbeaten bonus. Tur turn bonus. Navarro bonus. What? What are these items I'm getting? I got a rank S. Sweet. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting into this game. I might do some hunting off stream in terms of um, uh, just leveling up my monsters uh, between streams. You know, like I, I would do with any other game. Honey. Don't call me honey, honey. Oh, it wants to fight. Alright. This dude wanted to fight from a mile away. Time to fight. Alright. 
So we're gonna go with ten. Oh, they're going head to head though. Did one damage to me. So I guess for these guys, you want to just use tech. I didn't mean shit. I just know that these guys use speed attacks all the fucking time. It's gonna take a bit to figure out how uh, I'm supposed to know what type of attack they're doing. Was that only rank C? I kicked that thing's ass. Time to fight. That wasn't a back attack? Huh. Yeah, head to head speed attack. Just a no chance. He got wrecked. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at that, we both leveled up. What do I get if I level up, though? I don't know. Didn't actually say. Probably, like, some more HP, I would imagine. I imagine a lot of your stats in this come from your gear and not from your actual, uh, level. Yeah. Maybe, though. Up to rarity one. And Steve is a bard wyvern. Let's grow quickly. Has a high chance to reduce an enemy's attack for three turns. Interesting. So yeah, um, I have a feeling we're really gonna enjoy this. And none of you have actually played this before? Except for Silky? It looks like this pathway is going to crumble or something. The end boss of the game is probably going to be Cheval. You hadn't played and you wish you did, it looks great. Yeah, I'm actually thinking I'm going to like this. This is interesting so far. I looked it up online and it's apparently a 40 to 50 hour game story-wise, so we'll see. Huh? Hey look, a poogie! How'd the little Parker get all the way out of here? There are many lost poogies hidden all over the world. Find them, talk to them, and to collect them. You can see the ones you collected uh, at the poogie next to the stables. Why would I want to do this? Why is it wearing a diaper? You rescued a lost poogie. Alright. I guess that's why I wanted it. It gives me a switch I had too many of anyway. We're going through the cave. Saying aloud to the stuff in the cave. There's nothing in the cave. What is this? I don't know what these guys do, so we're gonna try power attack. Fire resist the shield. Yeah, fire resistance up! Okay. Oh, that's right. He was gonna use technical attacks. Ah, Conchu Yellow defeated. I knew that little bastard was going to use green attacks. I don't know how I can get better than B rank, but alright. Slua Neo Neoptron.
Alright, so power is probably good against these guys. It looks like they use fire resistant shield. Get wrecked. Damn. How do I use my last special abilities, actually? Let's look at some of these other menu things. Increases an ally attack for one turn. Okay, that'll be good. Okay, that'll actually swap. Alright, and I can't actually select anything with him yet. Alright, so fight it in. Fighting it in. Double attack? Well, that was cool. So a lot of complaints I've read about this game was that it was too easy. So what do you guys think? Do you think this game's gonna be too easy? Maybe for Soma, but as long as Soma sticks to the general rule of combat, uh, I think he'd be able to play this pretty easily. That's probably just for making a new armor. All right. The general rules of combat for Soma are he should make sure to use his ult sooner. Because then, that'll start the downpour. The actual super important downpour. After this, we're gonna reset our recording. Back attack, so let's power attack him. Oh, we're both power attacking him. Hurrah, I won that time! I was only rank C! The hell more do they want from me? Anyway. Let's reset this recording, guys.